हेलो ऑल आई एम प्रांजली पाटिल सीनियर लेक्चरर विद्यालंकार पॉलिटेक्निक वडाला वेलकम टू माय वीडियो ऑन मोबाइल कम्युनिकेशन इन दिस लेसन वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द मोबाइल फोन यूनिट एंड फ्रीक्वेंसी सिंथेसाइजर सो बाय द एंड ऑफ द लेसन यू शुड बी एबल टू रिकॉल अ सिंप्लीफाइड ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ मोबाइल यूनिट frequency synthesizer and the function of each block this is the block diagram of mobile unit the five blocks which you are seeing here are the major parts of this system so the major parts of mobile unit are control unit logic unit transmitter receiver and frequency synthesizer this unit operates on a dedicated battery the transmitter and receiver they share the same antenna you can see here this is a transmitter unit receiver unit sharing the same antenna the same antenna acts as transmitting as well as receiving antenna the important feature of the transmitter is that its output power which is 3 watts is controlled by the cell site and mtso the transmitter is a low power fm unit and it operates in a frequency range of 825 to 845 megahertz so which is very important term to remember transmitting frequency 825 to 845 megahertz there are 666 transmitting channels which are spaced 30 kilohertz apart the transmitter uses a unit called as duplexer which isolates the transmitter output from the receiver input if a signal is to be transmitted then the duplexer will connect the transmitter output to antenna and isolate it from the receiver input on the other hand when a signal is to be received the duplexer routes it to the receiver input and isolates it from transmitter output the transmit and receive frequencies are spaced 45 megahertz apart that means there is a spacing of 45 megahertz between transmitting and receiving frequency to minimize the interference the receiver is a dual conversion super heterodyne type receiver its range is 870 to 890 megahertz there are 666 receive channels which are spaced 30 kilohertz apart the frequency synthesizer develops all the signals which are used by the transmitter and receiver so you can see here this is frequency synthesizer which is giving signals to transmitter also and receiver also so it is responsible for developing the signals for transmitter and receiver the control unit and logic unit they together operates on the control signals which are received from the mtso the logic unit produces the required control signals to coordinate the operation of transmitter receiver and frequency synthesizer so this is a logic unit which is responsible for providing signals to transmitter receiver and frequency synthesizer this is frequency synthesizer now the most important circuit in any communication equipment is frequency synthesizer it generates signals of desired frequencies that is it is a variable frequency generator the local oscillators can be replaced by output from a frequency synthesizer it is used for developing all the signals which are used by the transmitter and receiver the frequency synthesizer provides an output signal that varies in fixed increments over a wide frequency range moving on to the block diagram of frequency synthesizer it uses the pll that is phase lock loop circuits and the mixer you 
can see here there are two PLL circuit connected together to form a frequency synthesizer. The crystal oscillator provides a reference for the two PLL. The output of VCO2, see this is VCO2 and the output of VCO2 is going to the receiver. So it is used as the local oscillator frequency for the first mixer in the receiver. The outputs of two VCOs are mixed together. This is VCO1, output of VCO2 mixed together which is going to the transmitter. The frequency divider block. It receives the divide by numbers from the logic section. These numbers are given by the MTSO computer. The divide by numbers will set the transmit and receive channel frequencies. The frequency synthesizer thus acts as a local oscillator which can produce a wide range of frequencies with high stability. Thank you.